Hello, welcome back to my channel. We are currently sitting on the floor in my room. I pulled a bunch of stuff out thinking I was going to film this tomorrow and just decided to go ahead and film this now. What we're going to be doing is I pulled everything out that I've gotten in subscription boxes as far as makeup. Um, I could do a separate skincare video and I could also do a separate brush beauty sponge video so let me know if you want to see either one of those because I could definitely do a part two and a part three um, it would just be way too long to do all of that in one um, but yeah this is stuff I've accumulated in the last three years since I started getting subscription boxes and we're just going to go through it I'm going to try and not do a whole bunch of swatches if I do swatch anything I've got you know a towel but I'm going to try and not swatch a whole lot because we'll be here for again a million years so yeah, if that sounds interesting, that's what we're going to get into. Um, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button down below. It helps me out a lot and it means so much to me. Um, I'm almost at 100. When I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So you definitely want to be a part of that. So yeah, please hit that subscribe button. And yeah, we're just going to get into it. Um, I was going to angle the camera down a little bit more, but I think we'll just do it like this. But I can show you kind of... A little bit of a preview of what we got there's a lot I filled a bucket the bucket is full um, and the camera is crooked so let me fix that and yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna get into it so yeah I'm sitting here on the floor the closest pile to me is highlighters and blushes and this also includes add-on items so if I add it on like through Ipsy and stuff, some of those items are included because they came through subscription boxes. I wouldn't have purchased it otherwise. So this was an add-on. No, this came in my Ipsy bag. This is the Tetris highlighter. It's very gold. It's one of those, it's borderline too dark for my skin tone, but it's Tetris themed and it's 80s and I still own it. I can use it as eyeshadow. I mean, I'm probably never gonna do that, but. This is the Pretty Vulgar Highlighter. This came in a boxy charm. Most of the stuff, I think I remember what boxes it came in. We've got a Medusa's makeup. This is probably one of the first Medusa's makeup bags. I do really like this highlighter. I never use it. I will swatch this one because this is pretty. Um, this is still available on, if I can get the lid closed, their website. I do really like that highlighter. This is Moonlit. This I think is one of their better ones. There's an IBY highlighter in Radiant Glow. Like I said, I'm not gonna swatch all of these. That's a blush. Um, there's a Note. It's an orangey blush that came in a boxy charm. I really like that for fall. I don't think I purchased many blushes. Most of the blushes I own came in subscription boxes. There's the classic Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter that came in BoxyCharm. You know, that was a while ago. That's their old packaging. I did get a new one um, in a box, but I gave it to a friend of mine because I had already used this one. So I we did get a second Rodeo Drive in something. But yeah, like I said, I gave that one to my friend because... I couldn't justify keeping the new packaging when I had already used that one. Um, this is Star Island. I th think this was like a bonus add-on item something. So that's another Ofra highlighter. This one came in a ColourPop like mystery bag. I included the mystery bag items because um, they're a subscription-ish thing. There's this, I don't think I've ever put this on my skin. This is another, this is Daisy and Pearl. Laura Geller Baked Blush from BoxyCharm. I got both of these Tarte blushes in Ipsy bags. There's Feisty, which is kind of a, like a rusty color. Again, it's a nice fall blush. I didn't think I was gonna like it when I opened it, but I do really like that color. And then Quirky came in an Ipsy bag. This was one of those Tarte make your own bags. Um, the highlighter in this sucks, but the blush is good. This is in rose gold. These little duos, the highlighters are not good. 
um, pretty vulgar this was a blush this came a while ago this is in make prim prim vixen I haven't actually put this on my face I've swatched it there's a cream blush stick pretty sure this came in a try beauty box I have used this a few times I do like it there's a Tarte liquid pro glow paint this dries down really fast and looks like glitter on my face I'm not crazy about that there's the Varsali that was in the boxy charm um, skincare this is really expensive and I haven't ever actually put this on my face but again it's it's pricey and it's supposed to be really good apocalyptic beauty there's a uh, the wasteland warrior bronzer cargo just came in a tribe this is the key largo i do have a code for tribe if you want to save 10 percent i'll leave it down below medusa's makeup and dangerous liaison I do like their blushes. Um, Georgia Peach is my favorite. I've, you can see I've used it a lot. I like this one a lot. Um, there's a orange blush topper from Apocalyptic Beauty that I got in the Halloween subscription. And then this is Shy Succubus. is a really pretty blush. This is a really, really pretty blush. So if you're thinking about ordering from Apocalyptic Beauty, I do their look of the month bags um, I don't know if that'll show up it's very very pretty it's got a little bit of shimmer in it it's just a, a really nice blush that's shy succubus if you're interested in ordering anything another Medusa's makeup this is another loose shimmery blush that's pretty um, we also got a loose shimmery blush from BoxyCharm. I'm not going to open this because it, it's going to get all over, but it's pink. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. It's because it's loose, you'll have enough blush till the end of time. There's two artist coutures. There's the super glittery one that people hated. And then this is purple dream that we got in the festival box this one's going to be from a while ago this is the becca highlighter in prosecco pop that came out a while ago i use this one a lot it's very nice got a couple of things from ipsy bags there's the balm alternative rock bare minimum blush i think this is an eyeshadow but because of the color i'm going to use it as a blush because i if i put it in my single shadow drawer you know i'll never use it this one came in an ipsy bag i don't know what this is this is from sugar peach peak and then from the balm we have the insta blush very pigmented uh, mascaras the tartiest tart tartiest mascara uh, medusa's makeup in electric blue I need to put some saline these are starting to dry out they're like you, they're way past their expiration but I've had them so long and then I have a Medusa's makeup in black if you take saline a little bit and put it in there when your mascara starts to dry out it'll bring it back it's a fun little tip there's the it superhero mascara you can't do it a bunch but you can do it a few times um, Too Faced better than sex came in a boxy charm the tart ones came in boxy charms the it mascara came in a boxy charm this tart one came in you know you make your own bag and a couple other medusas makeup witch lash there's the travel size and the full size both came in boxes and then a little tart man eater came in an ipsy bag so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine mascaras that have come in boxes brow products I don't know there's not many brow pod products brow products that I've purchased myself um, there's the iconic London 
little spongy thing that came in a boxy lux. Hopefully that's on there all the way. Um, this came a while ago, but I love it. The brow gal, I dropped it recently and broke the mirror, which I'm so sad about, but this is fantastic. And then we got a brow gal. Um, I have two of these. I have a backup, the brow mascara. I love this. So I'm very glad that I got a backup. There's this brow pencil. It's fine pointed. There's a MAC one. A lot of people's, this came in a boxy charm, was dried out. Mine, I still use it. I haven't used it up yet. Um, mine works just fine. There's the Mellow Brow Definer, which is a teardrop shape. There's this billion dollar brow one that's a little bit chubbier. There's a couple others that I've gotten that I've gotten rid of. Um, cello. There's the, you put it under your brow, and then this is the one where it's the pomade. Um, I did get another pencil like this from a company, another company that I can't think of the name. It's not the balm. I want to call it the balm, but it's not the balm. I can see it. It is from Benefit. Um, it's similar to that pencil, but this one I left in the package because clearly still have the other one and how many um, brow highlighter pencils do I need to have open. Primers. Rimmel Stay Matte. This came in an Ipsy bag. This is full size. It, um, Yanessa Tone Me Up Glow Primer. Dr. Brandt Luminizing Primer. I'm just gonna hold these. Um, Juice Beauty Photo Pigments Illuminating Primer. This is a smaller size. And then there's like a sample of the MAC Prep and Prime. Um, and then I got a sample of the RX Primer that's still in the box. Cover Effects Blurring Primer. No problem, problem prime essence. No problem smoothing primer. These are all primers. The Dr. Brandt No More Baggage Under Eye Gel, and I've gotten this twice. I gave one to my friend. Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. The regular face oil. There's a Pixie H2O. Kula Mineral Sunscreen and a little Urban Decay Optical Illusion that's almost gone and I did purchase the full size of that. So these are all primers that I did not purchase myself. I mean, technically I did purchase them, but there's one concealer. I did get another one um, from Hey Honey and I got rid of it because I didn't like it. This is from Koki Cosmetics came in an ipsy bag um i have the hey honey trick-or-treat cc cream and i liked this so much that i purchased the full size and then i included my hd foundation because i got a sample of this in the sephora play and i ended up purchasing the full size and then i have the tarte amazonian clay 12 hour which i want to try and then not that i need another foundation because i have the CC cream and this one here and then I have more in a drawer over there. Powders. I have gotten a few powders. There's a little itty bitty Ciate London but I did get a full size banana setting powder. I don't even know what company this is from. This came in an Ipsy bag. And then there's the Becca Prep and Set Aqua Hydra Mist and then we did get a pressed powder from the Balm in a try box so you can get foundations and powders and concealers palettes 
I've got face palettes and we'll go into eyeshadow palettes and then we'll do the big tub. Um, cover effects. This came in a boxy lux. It's got the highlighters, the blush, the contour, setting powder. Pure. This one's from a while ago. The bronze bright brighten and glow. The highlighter in here is fabulous and it's so buttery. I won't get rid of this because that's so good. Alamar Cosmetic Blush Trio. Tardist Pro Glow. This came in a boxy lux. As you can see, my daughter got a hold of it and dug her little fingers in there, but even doing that, I'm probably never going to hit pan on this, but two blushes, two highlighters, two bronzers. I like that I got this one um, and I use it. It's good. And I also love the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. This came in a boxy lux. Also, I love these. This was one that was in that, you know, make your own Tarte palette and I really love. Like this trio is good. I don't understand why the duos were so bad. Like the highlighter in this sucks, but this is a really good highlighter. Blush, bronzer. I use this contour shade a lot. It's different than the one in the Park Avenue Princess. This came in the um, Ipsy Plus. This is the Huda Beauty. So you got cream highlighter, powder highlighter, bronzer, blush topper. And we're gonna get in palettes. I'm trying to go through this stuff relatively quick because like I said, we'll be here for a million years. The Smashbox glitter topper. This was an add-on item. This is the Bold Glitter Cover Shop Bold Glitter. They're pretty, they're just very dry and I still have yet to try and put them on my eyes. The Violet Voss HD was an add-on item. This came in a, um, you can see I have used it. This came in an Ipsy Plus, but I didn't get that one. This was an add-on item for me. This was an extra item when I signed up for Tribe the first time. This is from The Balm. This is the little smoky palette. The palette that came in that Tribe box that month was the Meat Matchmaker palette. So that was a bonus item when you signed up for the first time. And then this was the palette that actually came in that box that month. ColourPop, My Little Pony came in a boxy charm. I actually, this was mine. The one that I got in the boxy charm I gave to my sister-in-law, but I included this because this did come in a box. And this was the palette that I got. It's just not that same palette. This was an add-on Ipsy item. This is the ColourPop All I See Is Magic palette. I have a whole video on those little cardboard palettes. I don't know why I keep buying them. The Huda Beauty Smoke palette was an add-on item. Then there's the Huda Beauty Mauve palette, which was an Ipsy add-on item. I haven't tried the smoke one, but I like the mauve one a lot. Laura Lee Party Animal came in Boxy Charm. Butter London palette, Boxy Charm. I haven't tried this yet. Prodigy was Wava palette, Boxy Lux, Block Party Zueva palette came in a tribe box. Haven't tried this one yet. Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Sizzle palette, Boxy Charm. Bunch of pure palettes. There's the pure Midnight Masquerade that people didn't like. It's just all right. Excuse me, I have all of my pure palettes from my boxy charms. So I'm kind of, I don't want to get rid of them because I have all of them, which is a stupid reason to have them all. The Soiree Diaries by Pure is a good palette. It's an OCD thing because I have them in sets. It's just like why I won't get rid of any of my boxy, my boxy, my um, color pop palettes because I have a lot of them. This is the Boxy Charm and Pure Palette people didn't like. I tried it finally on camera. Um, I have that video listed. Um, I did that not that long ago after owning it for a year. I finally tried it and it's it's not bad. It's not the best palette, but it's not the worst either. Pure Festival Palette again. It's better than that one, but it's not a bad palette. You got two pressed glitters. Pretty Vulgar Nightingale Palette. Um, we did get a Pretty Vulgar Gel Liner. I gave that away because I don't use gel liners, but we have gotten a lot from Pretty Vulgar. I like them, generally. LMR Cosmetics. Renee Del, I can't pronounce this 
but yeah, this was a boxy charm. It's a good palette. IBY City Limits came in a tribe. As you can see, my daughter dug her fingers in there again. Um, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus Moods by Laura Sanchez. Two highlighters and eyeshadow. This one's just all right. I used it once. I need to use it some more. We've got one more little pile. Wander Beauty Seascapes. I like this little palette. You've got one, two, three, four, five shimmers and a matte, but they're very pretty. I want to keep this um, to use in the springtime. Sorry, the TV's on in the background. My head's been blocking it, so that probably wasn't too distracting. Ace Beauté Grandiose Palette. Very nice fall palette. This just came in the Tri Beauty box. This is the Brights Ruby May palette. Morphe 15N came in a boxy lux. Haven't tried this yet. The Tetris Ipsy palette. This was a add-on item because I didn't get the Glam Bag Plus that month, but I wanted to try one of these because it's I love the 80s and it's Tetris themed. Haven't still have yet to try it. And then the Violet Voss Pro came in a boxy Lux, and I love this palette a lot. I'm going to do my setting sprays and then we'll get into my little tub. So we've got the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray, Bella Pierre HD Spray, a little Rainforest of the Sea Setting Spray, Caudalie Grape Water Moisturizing Spray. Project Beauty Setting Spray, Aqua, oh, let's see, Truffle Therapy, Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy, as you can see, I like this one, I've used that one a lot. Two from Medusa's Makeup, the Magical Makeup Setting Spray, and then their Original Makeup Setting Spray. Pixie Glow Mist. And last, but oh, not least, the Set Smashbox Photo Finish in Serene Green. So these are all of my setting sprays. So we're just gonna throw them over there. Like I said, I can do a separate video on brushes and sponges, and then I can also do a skincare video that I've gotten from subscriptions, if anybody would like to see that. Okay, this is the little container and I'm going to try and go through these as fast as I can. On top we have single shadows. So Medusa's makeup. There's, I'm not going to open them. There's a blue one and a white one and kind of a charcoal one and a lime green one. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know, I haven't used a single one of these. There's kind of a gold one another gray, kind of a copper color, a pretty orange, shimmery white, pink, blue, and kind of a green color. Then we have some mystical eye dusts. There's a gold and another gold. And some other gold. I'm not going to open these because these are so messy and they're just sparkly. There's a silver, a gold. So those came. As you can see, now you know why I canceled Medusa's makeup because I just don't use the stuff. We've got glitters. There's a pink glitter for Medusa's makeup, a purple. These are all like loose glitters. There's a, a blue that's pretty. Um, holographic silvery, lime green. There's a pretty like burnt orange loose shadow, a black loose shadow, a blue loose shadow. These are all Medusa's makeup. There's another glitter. This one's white. I like the glitters because I went through a glitter phase for a while where I was doing tons of loose glitter. So there's all of those. 
Um, from Glitters from Apocalyptic Beauty, there's Sarcophagus. And Bella Lugosi has little like bats in it. Happy Chaos. I think those are it from Apocalyptic. There's a cream eyeshadow from Apocalyptic Beauty. And then for their loose shadows, we've got a yellow gold, kind of an orange color, another orange, a blue, a purple. Oh, Medusa's makeup, we've got a lavender. There's a green and a brown and another gold, uh, pink. Nope, oh, another glitter. It's got some leaves in it, that's pretty. Another green and another pink loose shadow. Oh, and one more purple. Medusa's makeup, we have an eye primer. This is just okay. Um, BoxyCharm, we got two. They look like ColourPop shadows almost from Ace Beauté. Those are new. Tribe, we got an eye primer from the Balm that I haven't tried yet. Um, from Ipsy, there's a single shadow, silver. Um, we've got some cream shadows from Wander Beauty. There's a purple, Ciate London, that's Cupid. Um, Cover Effects Shimmer Veil. Liquid Eyeshadow from Medusa's Makeup, that is very sheer. Is that it? Um, and then we've got eyeliner seal from Apocalyptic Beauty and Medusa's Makeup. You can use any loose shadow and put this liquid in and make an eyeliner. So I have both of those. Um, Apocalyptic Beauty, it's called Cosmetic Alchemy Liquid. My thing's falling asleep, so I'm going to readjust here. Okay, the rest of this is probably, oh, no, there's an eyeshadow stick. DLS. Tried to pull. Okay, everything else I think is lip stuff. And again, I'm going to try and go through it relatively quick. And I do see one more shadow stick by Mally. And I think this came in Allure. And I keep these and use them as bases under like ColourPop shadows and stuff. And there is gold that leaked out from something. Okay, so for eyeliner, we've got kind of a brown eyeliner. And this one's a blue from Glamour Dolls. This one's Alamasca. Tristique is a little baby brown one. There's Jaunte Blue. This is that gold black one that people complained about. Bodyography, there's a gold one. Smashbox, little black one. Urban Decay, little black one. Sephora, little black one. Those ones came in the Sephora play boxes. There's some liquid eyeliners. And then there's one from Star Looks where it's got the felt tip on one end and the little star stamper on the other. There's a Laura Geller lavender eyeliner, a LA, let's see, is this LA Splash liquid eyeliner that came in Allure. It's a good eyeliner. That was the box that Nikki um, Tutorials created. And then the Appeal gel liner in green. So there's all of those. Sorry, my voice is starting to go out. Okay. So for liquid lipsticks, we have 
Little Beauty, Medusa's Makeup, Dose of Colors. Is that all the reds? Oh, nope, NARS. Um, Ofra. And these all are from subscription boxes, if you can believe it. They're by color because I have them like sorted by color in my liquid lipstick drawer, so that's why they're by color. Another Medusa's makeup. These metal AF are labeled lip glosses. They're not. They're metallic liquid lipsticks. But there's a purple one. I guess I can sh show you all together. There's a red one that I've got. Purple. They're really good. They're a little bit drying, so put a lip balm underneath. But there, there's a pink one. Another pink one. The orange one is really pretty. I get a lot of compliments on that one. And they're not like overly metallic. If there's any more, I'll pull them out. But those are all came in the Medusa's makeup box. Um, there's a black from Apocalyptic Beauty. Tardis Lip Paint. Mana Kadar Lip Stain. Smashbox Little Pink Liquid Lipstick. There's another Ofra. Um, so I ended up with both. I got the Havana Nights and my friend got Miami Fever in the Boxy Charm. And so she was kind enough to give it to me. An orange smash box, another NARS, this one leaks. I don't know why this one leaks and it's always got stuff on it and it's really gross and it's really annoying because it's a really pretty like mauve pink color. I got one of the um, Ipsy tinted lip balms in my bag. Little Makeup Forever and a Little Bite Beauty that came in Sephora Play. And this one. It's a really pretty, like, everyday pink color. Another Makeup Forever liquid lipstick. There's one from The Balm. We've got Ola Neon. It's a berry color. There's Ofra in Napa Valley. Pretty vulgar. It's like a pretty pink. Metallic Galactic Nude. Hank and Henry Liquid Lipstick. Major Matte. Ofra Long Lasting Ipsy Unzipped. This was a color they did specifically for Ipsy. And I've got an Ofra. It doesn't say Ofra on it, but this is Ofra. The, the label wore off. It was in my bag in my purse. This is Tuscany. I put a little label on it. The name wore off. This is IBY in Berry Berry. Koki in Desiree. Colourpop Lock Diaries came in a box each other. There's another Metal AF, another pink. Kat Von D. I got mine in Lovesick. We got a Smashbox in a Boxy Charm. Mine is in Stay Neutral, I think is the shade. It's a brownie color. Sam Marshall Liquid Lipstick. I don't know what box that came in, but I know that came in a box. And then there's another Huda Beauty one in Girlfriend, which is a very like nude brownie color. Ofra in Verona. Another, this is, oh, this is a lip gloss. We're getting down to lip glosses there. Okay. Let's do the Medusa's makeup lipsticks. We've got a pink. A like vampy plum, hot pink, kind of an orange, neon orange color, some sort of a brown, muddy waters, and then almost a ghosty gray lavender color called rose. There's a Bell in Argent, some sort of a lip color that's not a bad shade. T 
two lip scrubs. I got cotton candy from Medusa's makeup where you can see it's starting to settle. And then this one is by B. Beauty for real. And it still smells like oranges. That is gonna wash out. I'm assuming the Medusa's makeup one is still good. It's just the, uh, that one doesn't smell very good. And you can see the essential oils has started to settle and I haven't even had it that long. That one I'm gonna throw away. Essential oils do expire. So that's like when there's natural stuff in it, that's the only bad thing. And I have so many. There's tinted lip balms. I've got one from Burt's Bees, Model Co, Tristique. One from MAC that came in a birch box. A little mini Tristique. One that's very cute. Is that it for lipsticks? I think those are all lip glosses. Let's do lip liners and then I'll do lip glosses and then we'll be done. Lip liners, we got Bella Pierre, Steve Laurent, Jaunte Blue, Alamasca, Alamasca, Real Her, and then this one is a red. I can't pronounce the brand. Those are all lip liners. Lip gloss. We have Dose of Colors. A little pickle pear hot pink one. Steve Laurent. This I think is another Tardis little lip paint that came in a Sephora play. There's a Disco Queen lip gloss from Medusa's Makeup. A Peel lip gloss. LA Splash that came in a Tribe. Ciate London came in an Ipsy. Tardist lip gloss. This is a lip treatment. Another Disco Queen lip gloss from Medusa's Makeup. Give them La La Beauty. This is very pigmented gloss. There's a Mali lip gloss that came in a um, Allure and Loritz lip gloss that I think came in Allure. And then we have Apocalyptic Beauty. There's a green one, a in kind of an orangey one, and a gold one. And then I have a lip balm from them in Caramel. I got a lip balm by an Ipsy. I got a hemp lip balm in Ipsy, a lip Hey Honey Lip Treatment in Ipsy, and then a pure, this is a lip scrub, but it's in a, like a pencil. So that, my friends, is everything that I have gotten in subscriptions in the last three years that I still have. Now granted, not all this stuff is three years old, but some of it is. Like I said, that Medusa's makeup cotton candy one's not that old, but when you have stuff with essential oils, you gotta use it quickly. Anyway, hopefully this video was entertaining. I thought it was interesting to see how much I've actually accumulated from subscriptions. So yeah, I thought this was an interesting video. Um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of all of this. Um, and yeah, again, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button, and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Like I said, I'm almost at 100 subscribers when we hit 100. I have a giveaway box of stuff that is full, so we'll be giving that away. So yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking with me. If you made it till the end, let me know. And yeah, hopefully you guys have a wonderful evening and I will see everybody in my next video. Bye guys.